Hi guys, Ben Taylor here and welcome to today's video. Today, we're gonna to be concentrating on taking landscape images and then just making them look amazing. If you've got Lightroom, then great. You're gonna be able to join along with today's tutorial. If you haven't got Lightroom, go get it now maybe. Or alternatively, go watch another one of my tutorials where you can learn about Photoshop or photography. Without further ado, let's jump into today's tutorial and get started. So if you're a photographer, or even if you just own a camera, at some point you probably dabbled into the world of landscape photography. Why is this? Well, landscape photography is so easy to just get into, you know, I mean, all you need to do is grab a camera and go out and take some pictures of somewhere beautiful. You don't need models, you don't need props and you don't need anyone to really go with you either. So landscape photography is something that's easy and great to get into. If you enjoy landscape photography, then sit tight because today's tutorial is gonna be great for you to watch. Now there's more than one ingredient that goes into landscape photography. You need a little bit of equipment to get things right straight off the bat. Things like a tripod, also to have a shutter release to take the photo with while you're keeping the camera steady. Also to have a nice wide angle lens so you can capture the field of view. And finally, something like a polarizer to really make them colors pop out in your images. Now, if you've got all this, you also need to couple that with some landscape knowledge. It's no good just rocking up to a spot, taking hundreds of photos, and then just hoping that one of them's gonna be all right. You can do this, but it's not a very good way of kind of going about business. If you do happen to be one of these people that's a little bit impatient and they just like to get on with stuff, like a bull in a china shop, then it's good to know that you should always check your thumbnails by enlarging them. A lot of people just look at them small and decide, no, that's a bad photo, gotta go. If you enlarge it, you can potentially find some great little gems that you can change in Lightroom and make look amazing. I've actually made a tutorial all about this. So if you're interested in taking pretty bad photos and making them look great, then you should check out that tutorial. I'll leave it up around about here somewhere for you to check out. Back into today's tutorial though. So a better way of getting your landscape photos looking great would be to plan ahead of time. This means go a few days before to the spot you're gonna take your photos at and then just plan out where you're gonna take your photos. Look at the different angles which you could take them at and then get it in your mind, visualize it, what you want from your shoots. Also, make sure you go at the best time for light. This is one of the most important things that a lot of new beginner photographers completely overlook. Early in the morning when the sun rises and later in the afternoon as the sun sets are the best times to get that delicious light which makes your photos look amazing. So you've got your camera equipment set up, you've taken your photos, now it's time to rush back, put them on your computer and edit them in Lightroom. So let's jump in now and get into Lightroom to show you how to do this. So here we go, we've got this picture here which we're gonna be using for today's tutorial. Now, if you wanna join along, no problems. All you need to do is go to YouTube, under the video you'll have a description area and then there you'll have something which says tutorial picture. Hit that and then this picture will download on your computer. So all you need to do then is import it, it's quite simple, just come down to import, make sure you're on library first, hit import there, and then on the left hand side you're going to see these options. These are options where you can download your picture from on your computer or your camera. Then hit import and you're good to go. It's going to load, or should I say it's going to import here in front of you, and then you'll be able to use this image. If you haven't already guys, I'd love you to join along with us and subscribe to the channel. It'd be great to have you watching the videos which I make. I'm really passionate about the stuff I do and I hope you enjoy it. So if you do, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get notified each time I upload a video. Right then, let's get started. We've got this picture, which is a picture of a foggy hill, which is pretty self-explanatory. Here's your hill and here's the fog. I think I've named it pretty well. Right, next step, we need to make sure we're going onto the develop tab. So hit that there. This is where the magic happens. 
So on the right hand side here, you can see these different tabs. These enable you to make changes to the image. So how do I go about making changes or edits to my landscape photos? Let's go through this step by step. So the first thing I do is take care of the exposure. That's the brightness or the darkness in the image. I do that most times in the basic tab. So let's click this down and you can see you've got the exposure slider here. But I actually don't get the exposure slider and make changes to that first. I look at the different areas of the picture which need changing through the brightness or the darkness. So I can see this area around the edge is very dark. You can't see any details pretty much in the trees. So we want to make this area lighter. This is the shadows. So naturally, I would want to pump up the brightness in the shadows. Lucky for me, Lightroom has a shadow slider. So I'm going to push that right up. And you can see I've brought back some detail in the shadows. Next step, I want to make sure that the blacks are a bit lighter here as well, because I can see the blacks are very, well, there's a lot of blacks in the edge of the image here. So I'm going to grab the black slider and I'm going to push that right up. And that's really pumped in a lot of light into the edge of the image. It's also lightened up the middle part, but we're not going to worry about that at the moment. Now, brightening the image up in this way is great because you're focusing on the each individual area. But it has also flattened out the image. Now, if you don't know what flattening means, it basically means it's taken some of the contrast out of the colours. And it's nice to have contrast in your image sometimes. It separates the colours a little bit more. So, lucky for us again, Lightroom has a contrast slider. So I'm going to push up the contrast and then just separate the colours here a little bit more. Okay, now finally I'm going to go and use this exposure slider and I'm going to lighten the whole image. So let's just push this up a little bit to around about 24 and then I've brightened up the image. Okay, let's have a quick look at the before image and then let's have a look back at this after image to see the changes we've made. Now a little pro tip, if you want to have a look at the before, just hit the forward slash like this on the keyboard. So this is the image before and then hit it again. This is it after. So we've just brightened up the image and we've just added a bit more life into it. You can see some more of the details, which is very important when you're looking at a picture. Right, next step, let's go on to presence. We've got clarity here, which adds a bit more detail into the mid-tones. So let's push this up, and you can see it adds a bit more detail into this area here. Now, if I was to push this all the way up, you can see that it's way too far. So you want to be kind of, you want to tread carefully how much clarity you add into the image. Because if you're pushing too much, it can actually detract from the colours rather than add to it. So I'm going to leave it at around about... 31 and I think that's a good place to leave it. Next step, the vibrancy. I want to pump up the vibrancy to add in more colour into the image. So I'm going to push that up to about 26 and you can see I've really added more vibrancy into the greens, the yellows and the oranges in the picture here. I'm going to leave the saturation alone. I'm not going to touch that. And that's all the changes made in the basic tab. Next step is to come down to this tab here, which says HSL, colour, or black and white. This enables you to change the colour of the U, saturation, luminance. U is the colour itself, so look at the green. If I push up the slider, you can see I'm changing it to this green here, or I'm changing it to a more of a yellow there. So you're actually changing the colour of the colour. Sounds a bit crazy, I know. So, where do I want the green at? I'm pretty happy with where it is at the moment. I might blend it into this colour here a bit more. So to do that, I'm just going to drag it down. And then we've got more of a blended colour into this here. Next step, do I want to change any more of the colours? Mm, yes, I think I do. I want to change the trees here, which are more of like an orange colour. And I want to make them brighter. So see if we can get them more closer to a red. So there's the orange slider. Let's push this back and you can see I've increased the colour here and added a nice little bit of red into the trees. This is going to help separate the colours 
when you're looking at the image and it's just going to give it a nicer effect. Right, next step, is there any more colours I want to change? Well, I'm quite happy with the way that is. I think I might just push up the yellows a little bit. And that's just adding in a bit more of a warmer tone into the yellows, which makes it look like the sun is affecting this part of the hill there. Okay, so I'm quite happy with what I've done in the use set section here. Let's move on to saturation. Saturation is how much the colour here you want to saturate it. So if I haven't explained that very well, let's show you what I mean. If I push up the green, look how green it is now. It really pumps up the colour. So I'm just going to add a little bit more in the saturation to the green, but nothing crazy. And you can see that's just pumped up that there. And I'm also going to do this for the orange, just so these trees stand out a little bit more as well. Luminance, finally. This is adding more light and darkness into the colour itself. So once again, I'll give you an example. If I drag, drag the greens down, it's darkening them. If I push it up, it's lightening them. So I think I'm going to add a bit of lightness into the greens, and this is just going to give you a bit more attention here on this part of the image. So I'm going to leave that at about 27, and I think that's a good place. Okay, we've finished on that now. Let's move on to split toning. This is a great part of changing a landscape photo in Lightroom because this enables you to add colours into the highlights and the shadows. So in the highlights, this part of the image, I want to add in a warmer tone. So all you need to do is click on this rectangle next to the highlights and I'm going to add orange in, which is a warmer tone. I'm going to drag it down because we don't want it too much of an effect. About there and click off. And then you also have a saturation slider. You can push this all the way up to saturate it more or bring it down. I think round about 21, 22 is a natural look. Let's move on to the shadows. Same thing again with the shadows, but this time we want to add a bit of a colder color into the shadows, as you can see that reflected here in the sky. So let's carry on with a the blue theme that's already in there. I'm going to drag this down to about there. A little bit more, click this off, and then I'm going to drag the saturation down to around about 18. Okay, so we now have this nice warm colour on the hillside and this nice blue colour separating it in the sky here. Let's click this off, and finally, when I've done all of this, I've changed the brightness, the colour and I've really kind of added some separation into this in the image. I finally go on to detail and this enables me to sharpen the image. So if I push up the sharpen slider here where it says sharpening, I'm going to add detail into the image and it just makes the image pop out just a little bit more. Finally I'm going to push in a bit more detail and there we have it. And that is my workflow generally on most of the landscape photos that I will take. Sometimes I will make different changes where you can go in and use something called a custom brush or an adjustment brush, sorry. And this enables you to make different changes to different parts of your image individually. And we're not going to go into that fully in this video. That's for another video. So I'll make a video on that as well. Okay, guys, let's have a look at the before and after. Now, remember, that's the forward slash key. So this is the before, very underexposed image, beautiful picture, but very underexposed, not much brightness in the colours. And this is the after. This is a beautiful landscape image edited in Lightroom. So hopefully you've enjoyed watching this video of how I edit my landscape photos in Lightroom. It's easy to do, right? Okay, all you've got to do is import your image, make a few changes with the sliders, you know, pump up the exposure, get some more colour in there, and jobs good and you have an image which looked good to start with and then it looks amazing. Now if you enjoyed this video just give me a thumbs up, don't do that to the screen now, I mean like give me a thumbs up on Facebook, hit that like button and if you haven't already then please subscribe to the channel, I'd love to have you join us for more videos every single week. Now whatever you do as always guys have an amazing day and then I'll see you again really soon.